You ever feel like you pray about something and then it's as if God is ignoring you? It's like your prayers aren't making it past the ceiling. Sometimes it can even cause us to wonder, is God even there? So my daughter's figured out how to get what she wants from me. If she says, Dad, can I skip school today and go to Disneyland? No brainer, not doing that. But if she comes in and says, Dad, I'd like to cut school today so you and I can have some quality time together, <laughs> Now she has my attention because she knows that my why is for us to have a great relationship. So if she comes to me with something she wants and she attaches it to my why of parenting, she just might get a yes. God is like that. He's a parent with a purpose. And if God is truly our heavenly father, it will benefit us to understand his why. When you think about why your prayers aren't making it past the ceiling, ask yourself, is my prayer in any way, shape or form lined up with God's why or is it against his why? Jesus is clear when he says, I have come to seek and save those that are lost. That should give us an idea to God's why. His purpose is always to bring people who are far from him, close to him. A lot of my prayers have nothing to do with that. A lot of my prayers are bless me and help me and protect me. They're for my comfort or my ability to be calm in my life or my life to be better. And while God cares about all of that, God's why and purpose in being our parent is seeing people far from him come close to him. What do you do? When you feel like your prayers aren't making it past the ceiling, you go back to your prayer and align it with God's why.